All right, guys, we're back here at this place. We call it the compound. No, I'm just kidding. Not the compound. All right. We're doing work, guys. There was a, some little rot on the inside here. So they thought it was possible they had termites. So we stripped this wall and found it had water, some water damage. That's a stained wood at the bottom. But the damage we already cut out. Uh, you see this? From the outside, it looks good. But look, watch this. It's not good. So what was happening, guys? Water runs off the decks, comes down here, hits the concrete, and it literally bounces back up on this untreated bottom of this wood. So we're going to run Z-Bar at the bottom, guys. A little flashing behind it. And uh, run a 90 on it. We're also going to prime this area. And uh, we're going to foam this, this corner right here with foam. Because uh, we've got to try to be careful how, we're, how much time we spend doing work that's not going to be seen, guys. Where it's really important. Because yeah, we're working on a budget here. So we tested this lumber. We, we hit it with a hammer, guys. It's solid. So we're going to re put, put 5 mil over this again. We're going to prime it. We're going to seal it all in. Then we're going to trace, we're going to trace those onto the new T111. And uh, then we're going to do the inside. We're, we're going to start on the outside first. It might be in the center console of the truck. We're going to start on the outside first, guys, because there's a chance we can have rain in the morning. And uh, we'll get this uh, dried in today. And we'll get out of here because we got another job to go to after work. It's 3.20 now, bro. bro. Look, we're going to get so, that cut and these two pieces cut, even if we don't get all the trim on. Yeah. Today, we still get our panels in, right? Right. We want to try to hit that goal. Yeah. We're trying to get our T111 on today. Yeah. And then we'll get that piece we don't need to do inside. We'll just put it up. All right, guys, that's it for now. Love you all, guys. Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. The Holy Ghost is in, is in Jesus, and the Holy Ghost is God, guys. And Jesus said, if you, if you believe in me, if you see me, you have seen the Father. But to believe in Christ is to believe in God. That's the only way you'll, you'll be reborn. What is being reborn? It's the literal happening of receiving the Holy Ghost. It comes in, He comes into your flesh, and you know it when it happens because only God can create such a miraculous event of healing, guys, of truth. The Holy Ghost will guide you unto all truth, will lead you unto all truth. What is truth, guys? That Jesus Christ, God, and the Holy Ghost are all one and the same. Different manifestations of the same powerful Lord God. And it, it, it's been duplicated. The Bible's been duplicated. The Bible also says, don't change the jot or tittle. So any religion that changes the word of God, guys, is a false religion. False. Anyway, God bless you. Bye-bye.